What's up? This is Kevin Walker, and this is True School Sports. <laughs> That's a problem a lot of fighters have today, like especially like the non-American fighters. Like you look at a guy like uh, like Roman Gonzalez, the flyweight dude has all the skills in the world, but he can't really speak English, so it's hard to like for him to kind of identify the people. That's the first thing I would do if I had a, a fighter from another country. First thing I would do is put him in English. Listen, we have a fighter here, uh, Jordan Formetta. He's 10-0. He's, he's amazing. from Cuba, three-time uh, three amateur world champion. He's amazing. doesn't speak a word of English. And I, and I, he doesn't try. doesn't even try to speak a word of English. And I keep trying to tell these guys, for him and for his uh, marketability, yeah. if he learned a little English, he would help. I mean, people appreciate you trying to speak English yeah, yeah. in their country. That's why Golovkin's, in their country. That's why Golovkin's doing better than Canelo because course, Canelo, look, course. Canelo, like Floyd said, he goes, "What is he Irish?" Like he was busting on him. He he he's he's yeah. white. He's got <laughs> multi-million dollars that's behind him, bad. but he sounds like a typical Mexican. That's just yeah, that's yeah. the one thing that's holding him back. If Canelo Alvarez spoke English. Like, even broken English, he'd be like the greatest boxer of all time. For, as far as hype goes. Yeah, as far as hype goes. As far as hype goes. I feel like he doesn't want to speak English because I've heard him like speak yeah. little licks of English and like uh, sometimes he'll do interviews and he can understand what they're saying. He doesn't yeah. want to speak Spanish. Hey, listen, Jordan, 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 Pedro, Maurice, the Cuban, now he's like, hey, with Don King. The Cuban fighters, they don't want to learn English. Yeah, and they don't even want to try. <laughs> they don't even want to try, bro. Listen. Jordan and Pedro, they come here, uh, like, you know, we say, well, dias, hola, como estas, right? Like, they, they, like, they won't say hi, good morning, nothing, or they don't speak only Spanish. They don't want to try, bro. Like, come yeah. on, you're in America, just try, just, uh, just say, just greet me, just greet me in English, bro. Yeah. Speak your shit, just greet me in English, like, yeah. amuse me, <laughs> you know? They don't even want to try right at all, at all. Yeah, it's like, and if like if a lot of the Cuban fighters did that, they'd be, they'd be a lot more popular. Like, look at uh, oh, yeah. Luis Ortiz, a, a, a great heavyweight, you know, great, yeah. great talent, probably the yeah. most skilled heavyweight in the world, but yeah. doesn't speak a lot of English. Yeah. Doesn't speak any English. Yeah. 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 So. Right, well, that's what, like, you bring up another Ortiz, uh, like Victor Ortiz's success, you know? He's, uh, when you hear him speak Spanish, he sounds very, very, very typical, you know, of his ancestry, but. When he speaks English, he speaks like uh, yeah, North American yeah, English, yeah, right? So yeah. that's like why he's in movies and stuff. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, he's cool. Pick his cool. Got chinned real bad. Got you. He got what? <laughs> he, he got, got, yeah. got chinned real bad. He got knocked out by uh, Berto. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was I'm listening to too many Tyson Fury videos. That's why like, he's speaking like a British guy. Like Berto. He got chinned. Like Berto. You like you like Berto? How do you like Berto? Uh, he's a decent fighter, but he's not he's not ever gonna be at the top level. You know, he bought his mama house and went to park though. Very. He bought his mama house and went to park in Orlando. I give I give Berto this though, like for a guy with his skill set, you know, he's, he's went really far with his skill set because he's not really sound. He's not. He's not very sound. He, he's solid. He's not, he's not a sound he's defensive solid. fighter at all. He's very easy to hit. You know, he almost get like gets like insulted if you if if uh, if, if you don't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like playing with a bulldog. Like that fight with uh, with Floyd. Oh my! It's like playing with a bulldog. Did you see me pump up my brother fighting tonight live on? Uh, right, I live on Spike TV, Bellator, oh. 155, Chase Gormley, fighting Joey Beltran. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so I think I saw the commercial for that. Yeah, 155 tonight, live on Spike TV, I believe it's Spike 29 o'clock. Okay, so check that out. Tune got... in, tune in tonight, <laughs> Chase Gormley, <laughs> with a, fighting the Mexican of Joey Beltran. It's going to be a good fight, bro, going to be a good fight. Yeah, man. You know, you follow him, man? Yeah, I follow him. Yeah, yeah, he, my, my brother. So the, 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 the Bellator title is now Minikov got sent back to Russia, they, 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 denied, they denied his visa, he's got some medical problems, they denied his visa, so now the Bellator belt is open, so, so this fight is very important my brother, you know what I mean? Oh, so it can kind of like take him to that next level? Yeah, he was he was the Titan FC heavyweight champion, he, and he vacated that belt to go to Bellator, he was in the UFC, he lost a couple of fights, he got, he, 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 they let him go, he signed with, he, he, uh, he took even a couple of regional fights, he took, and he fought for the, the Titan FC belt. He beat, he won the Titan FC belt, and then now he, uh, now then he vacated the Titan FC belt and went to Bellator, and now he's uh, now this is his third fight in Bellator. So, good luck to him. What was his name? Chase. Chase. Gormley. Chase Gormley. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll probably check that out he's tonight. At, he's at Los Angeles. Video, please check out TSS Sports. Please sub to his YouTube channel. He has dope content, dope videos, talks about boxing, NBA, NFL.